So, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is James Lee. Uh, I'm the founder of the Microbiochip Diagnostic LLC, and also I'm an uh, associate professor from the University of Texas at El Paso. Uh, so, I have uh, more than 15 years in microbiochip fabrication and also biomedical application. So, here we are, we are trying to develop some new chip for disease diagnosis. And uh, also our team has uh, Dr. Sanjay Sharma and also Hamed for the uh, for the technical uh, for the chief uh, chief technical officer and also we have a, a couple of experienced mentors include including uh, Les Stewart for a mentor. So what problem we want to address? So uh, we focus on infectious disease. Why infectious disease? Infectious disease actually is uh, a major. Uh, the cause is not global health issue. So think about it, in, uh, in, in a year, it can cause 15 million deaths due to only from infectious disease. Uh, and also for this disease, it's often happening in high poverty region. So they don't have that much to afford high technique. So uh, here I want to mention a couple of few infectious diseases, for example, meningitis. Uh, so you can see here, each year are gonna have uh, about two, uh, 200,000 people die due to meningitis. And also another one we currently we are focused on is pertussis or whooping cough. So whooping cough is a very contagious uh, and also it could be it potentially deadly. So, um, so for each year, for example, globally it can cause 16, uh, we have 16 million cases and about 200,000 deaths globally in children. So particularly, it's a very deadly for children, old people for this disease. And also, I want to mention for this disease is the only vaccine preventable infection that remains endemic in the United States. Okay, we we have the vaccine. You got injection. It's not it's a, a proof. Is the vaccine proof? But actually, it's not. Okay, it still cause a lot of issues here. And in 2012. We got about 50,000 cases. Actually, this is the highest cases since 1959. So, it caught a lot of media uh, attention too. So, in that case, how? What's the solution? So, we want to develop. Uh, uh, so, uh, to, to address those issues, uh, we also want to mention current diagnosis method. Uh, so, for example, including bacteria culture, and also the real-time PCR method. Those are conventional methods. They are either very time consuming, for example, bacteria culture takes more than a week to get your result. So, you know, for this is in fact disease, so you have to wait for more than a week to see, you know, what's going on. And then another way method is qPCR, but however, this equipment is very expensive. So it costs around 60 US, uh, 60,000 US dollars, okay. Um, we did some research interview, we, we found even uh, our El Paso hospital don't have this kind of equipment, okay. Um, so this is uh, some issue for this problem. So in that case, we develop uh, some microchip, very tiny, to address those issues. So this is a, a micro we call it lab on chip or microchip. It's miniaturized, it's very tiny, so, uh, smaller than your uh, credit cards. Um, so here I, I have a demo. Um, so you can see it's very tiny. Uh, it's, it's, uh, so it, just need a very small region, so it's low cost. Uh, you can design or based on your need. And also, it's a, it's a very tiny, you can carry it all the way to anywhere. So it's fully portable. Okay, this is very important for infected disease, but sometimes when the disease happens, you need some people to do the outside detection. Okay, um, if you are interested, you can take a look. Um, so, and also it's very portable. So, um, for example, here we developed the um, product, product. Okay. Uh, you can see this 3D illustration is uh, very simple. Here we have three different units. This is the for negative control, positive control, this is the for whooping cough detection. So here you can see it's uh, based on the side compression. This is a photograph of the uh, product. Uh, during the process, we also integrate a genetic, very specific genetic assay on the chain. So because we need the heating element, so we also use 3D printer, uh, design and fabricate, um, uh, integrate um, battery powered uh, heater and analyzer. So everything here 
is fully portable, doesn't even require any electricity. So you can carry the error uh, to anywhere for point care detection. And for detection, it's very simple, doesn't require very complicated uh, process or personal. Um, so we just need, a, uh, after the chip, after the um, DNA amplification, we just use the UV light to shine a sample. They can use your cell phone camera to take photos. So you can see those results like this. Okay, you can see here. So this is an image taken by a cell phone camera. You can see here, this is our positive result. And this is the real sample. And this is a negative control. So, and also recently we developed an app to uh, automatically recognize those different zones. And also we did the specificity test. You can see it's a very specific. These three are very similar. So they can very similar pathogen, but they do cause a different pathogen, pat uh, uh, disease. So you can see B, per uh, B pertussis or B paraptosis and home So. Once we know what disease it is, then we can take correct treatment. So that's also very important. And also I want to mention here, we our device uh, recently we are has also successfully uh, detected a meningitis causing pathogen. Okay. Um, then uh, we also attended the NS supported eye crops uh, I uh, crops um, for the market search, um, so we did uh, 42 uh, interviews. The interview including doctors, professors, uh, lab technicians from different countries like the US and Mexico, uh, China, Nepal, and uh, those countries. And we found our customer um, mainly from um, hospital, physician office, and diagnostic center. And from the interview, we also found um, people are looking for a price around 50, uh, really need a uh, micro device that costs around $50 instead of uh, six or two hundred, uh, six or two, uh, six hundred to seven hundred dollars. Um, QPCR is the current commonly used method. For each test, it costs 700 US dollars. So our device can only cost $4 for the, for the fabrication and material. So it's much cheaper. And our chip device is the only microchip for point care detection of autosis or whooping cough. And then, um, so in terms of the milestone, we got the pro product prototype, and also uh, recently in collaboration with the Children's Hospital uh, Los Angeles, we test the 100 clinical sample. Okay, so it, it, we you can see from the clinical test, it did validate our method, our chip had pretty good performance. You can see the sensitivity is 100%. Okay, accurately detect all the cases, and also have had a pretty high uh, specificity as well. Uh, in terms of the financial analysis, we got a uh, NIH grant earlier, uh, about half a million to develop the phototype, and then later we got some uh, other money from MC and uh, also a fellow foundation. Uh, to develop, to optimize the device. Other than that, I also want to mention other direct costs, um, including cheaper fabrication, DNA assay, and also some salaries. So any cost is around uh, 600,000. Um, then the revenue, um, we mainly come from the cheaper fabrication. You can see we have pretty big margin. Uh, so current price for real-time PCR is 700 US dollars. So our cost, material cost, uh, only four dollars. So we plan to sell at five uh, fifty dollars, so we can get a avenue about uh, two hundred thousand or uh, two million, two point five million um, in twenty twenty one. Um, so in overall, so we expected um, to get a net um, profit from two twenty uh, from twenty twenty two. Uh, it's going to be, a, at the beginning, going to run uh, 500 or half a million. They're going to keep increasing. And also, I want to mention here, uh, in 20, um, from 2019, uh, 2000, uh, uh, next year, we're going to plan to SBIR, and then move to the uh, FDA Pro the year after. So, uh, so in order to make it possible, I do uh, appreciate the need of your uh, generous support uh, financially or technically. So, thank you.
So we're looking for about half a million investment. Mm -hmm. Is that in addition to the SBIR? Uh, we we are also looking at some other opportunities um, mm -hmm. other than SBIR. We're also looking for um, talking to some uh, foundation right now. Um, for example, here we have also American Clinical uh, Laboratory Science uh, Clinical Laboratory Science Foundation. We are also talking to them. Is that a grant or is that an investment? Uh, it, it's a it's a grant. Yeah, it's a kind of yeah, foundation. Well, foundations you take equity. Uh, they, they, yeah, they, they don't take okay. equity. Because they're not in this case. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you, James.